Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're also going to be talking about Crisis, because we've got some new information, some new leaks to do with The Flash Season 6. We're going to be breaking it all down, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so first off, before we start this video, guys, could you all do me a massive favour? Can you go to your phones, download the Amino app? It's sort of like a mix of YouTube and Instagram because I do stories over there. And if you guys follow me, it really will help me out. And you can see my exclusive content because I do videos over there. They're called stories, like Instagram stories. And so I talk about The Flash. I do loads of top 10, top 5 rankings and talk about Godspeed and, you know, what happened recently. I've been talking about that. Also talk about, like... Flash, Supergirl, anything else that is going on that is on my mind. So if you go over to your app store, whether you have an iPhone or an Android phone, please be sure to follow me at the DC TV show on there. I'll leave a link in the description below and go watch my videos, my stories week to week. Join the community. All you need to do is type in The Flash. That is my main community. You click on it, you join the community. You obviously follow the DC TV show and then you click on stories and view my stories just like you were viewing my YouTube videos. So it's just an extra thing on the side. So it would be highly appreciated if you guys can actually go do that. I don't think the app takes up that much space so no worries about that. So yeah, that will be a massive thank you. Let me know once you've done that either tweet at me or comment it in this video. I always check the comments. First off, we're going to talk about these Crisis on Infinite Earths leaks, and then we'll talk about the Flash leaks. Okay, so this is coming from Full Circle Cinema. I've never been on their site or anything like this, so take this with a massive grain of salt, but they said production on the CW's next crossover event may start much earlier than expected. An insider in the DC Universe crossover Facebook group said that the Monitor actor LaMonica Garrett has revealed that filming is set to begin the highly anticipated Christ on Infinite Earths crossover this upcoming Monday. And so that is what was teased and also we'll talk about what Mark Guggenheim said on Twitter the other day. But from this you would presume, oh they're starting filming on Monday for the actual crossover but that is not true it's 99% not true because what LaMonica Garrett is actually talking about and we've got evidence that he's going to be a series regular and he's going to be heavily involved on the flash definitely I think also Arrow a little bit at the start of the season so he's going to be filming the flash because they start filming today which is Tuesday and this is coincidentally in links with these leaks and we know he's on the flash script he's going to be in the flash episode one he's going to be in a lot of episodes of the flash this season so it's going to be that is what he's filming he's not filming the crisis on infinite earths crossover because they're not filming that for a long time they've got over a month to film it kyla lee confirmed that at the ultimates but they are not filming that right now that is misinformation that is misreporting he is filming for the flash season six that is what he's starting, as they said, on Monday, but it's actually Tuesday when they start. And so that's what's happening. He's probably going to pop up on Arrow, maybe pop up on Supergirl. Not sure about Legends because that's later in the year. But more likely than not, no, they're not filming the Crisis crossover this Monday. They're filming The Flash because we know he's a series regular this year. It seems to be so. So moving on, we're just going to quickly read over what Mark Guggenheim had to say on Twitter. So, he says, everyone is hard at work already. The earliest start we've ever gotten on the crossovers. To make this as big and epic and fun as we can conceivably manage. Don't be surprised if we announce something pretty cool at San Diego Comic Con. Okay, so, this is a nice teaser. Obviously teasing that they started production early on the crossover. They seem to do that every year. They start a tiny bit earlier than before. And the crossover this year is obviously massive. They sort of conceptualized it at the end of the Elseworlds crossover. They announced it. And so, yeah, they've had a long time. And so he teases, don't be surprised if we announce something pretty cool at San Diego Comic Con. So I will be there this year. That's exciting. And I'm expecting maybe a first sort of look trailer to do a crisis with footage from the different shows. I reckon it's going to be somehow intertwined. But also, I think an announcement will be made. 
I think maybe a poster will come out. I think LaMonica Garrett's definitely going to be at San Diego Comic Con. Obviously, he plays the Monitor. And it seems to be he's on the Flash series regular list. So maybe that is the big announcement for Comic Con. Okay, so let's move on to talk about the Flash leaks. So this is all coming from 4chan. This is very similar to some of the leaks we've had over the last few years. These leaks were actually brought up by Pagey in his latest video. I'm going to bring up and talk about my take on these leaks, whether I think they're real or not. I've read through them once, and that's about it. So it's sort of just my fresh ideas for you guys. So this is coming from 4chan, so take it with a massive grain of salt as well. So number one, Red Death is the villain, but there were brief talks for Cobalt Blue to be the big bad, but he was skipped over due to complaints about non-speedster villains. Okay, so this sounds very, very possible. I think Red Death is still going to be the villain. I've still been theorizing about that. Although we know Godspeed's going to appear in episode one 100%, I feel like Godspeed's going to potentially be the villain for the first part of the season, and then we switch to Red Death. Whether Red Death is a version of Godspeed or not, that's sort of remained to be seen, but Godspeed 100% is coming. We don't know 100% if Red Death is coming, so you obviously have to take the idea that Red Death potentially could not be the villain, but there is a possibility that he will be the villain as well, so don't know about that. But in regards to Cobalt Blue and them skipping, I totally get that. I would 100% be in that same mind because of the complaints about non suicide villains, because quite frankly, they just don't really work nowhere near as good as any of the speedster villains on the show. So I do believe this. I think that's a very sort of reliable statement that they put out. So the next one, Red Death will appear in episode 2 or 3. And so unsure at this stage exactly, but casting is still ongoing. Producers are looking for Latino actors in the late 20s or 30s. Okay, so Red Death will appear in episode 2 or 3. This is sort of to be expected, they like to introduce early, but I feel like with Godspeed 100% being in episode 1, maybe they tease the idea of Red Death in episode 2 or 3, and then after Crisis, you know, kick in with the Red Death stuff really prominently, and I think that's a great way to go. And so, talking about Latino actors actually being cast, that is very likely because they said there was a report that came out from TV line a couple of weeks ago talking about they are casting the big bad right now and they are looking for diverse actors so that would make sense so this part of the leak I do believe and I think that Red Death would probably appear you know not first episode but kind of you know a few episodes after so yeah I kind of believe this leak okay so Crisis on Infinite Earths will be set up throughout the first seven episodes but won't be a main focus arrow on the other hand i really believe this this is sort of in my thought going into this season and now seeing that manu vo who is the monitor is going to be supposedly a series regular or he's going to appear loads of times this season on the flash i highly believe this and i don't think it's going to be completely in the forefront i think there will be obviously the normal flash tropes and the normal flash story and with Godspeed around, I'm guessing that's going to be a focus. So yeah, I believe this as well. Okay, next bit. Cisco is back, but in a different role. That's interesting. He's definitely appearing this season. We know that 100% from the cast script that we actually got. It will be on the screen right now. So he's definitely there. Cisco slash vibe is what he's listed as. So maybe it is a different version. Maybe we get normal Cisco, but then we get a different version of vibe. I think that's interesting. So. Yeah, maybe that will happen. I think these leaks so far are pretty reliable in terms of what I think will happen and what I've been thinking this whole time. Okay, so Sue Diabon will be a mini foe turned love interest for Ralph. So that was the teaser at the end of the season with Ralph opening the case file. So in the comics, she's actually his love interest. And so we've been waiting for this since Ralph was actually introduced because she's a big thing in the comics when Ralph is around. So... Yeah, with the teaser at the end of the season, we've all been expecting this, and so, yeah, I do believe this. Okay, so Jay Garrick, Jesse Quick, and Wally West are all characters that are wanted for one episode in particular, but logistically, that episode is looking to be a hard one to sort out and organise. So I believe this, because, you know, they try and do this every season, get all the Flash family back together, and obviously there would be troubles because Jay Garrick, Jesse Quick, and Wally West all the three individual actors are very busy 
I feel like Jay Garrick will definitely return. He returned last season while he was at the start of last season. Jessie hasn't been around for a little while. She's very busy. She's on a different show, Violet Bean, that is. So, yeah, I do believe this. Okay, so Killer Frost, new suit, is the best one yet for the character. Well, he actually just said Frost. One of the best in the Arrowverse. So that was teased at the end of last season. So very reliable in terms of, yeah, we've been expecting this. So I'm looking forward to this. I love a lot of Killer Frost suits in the past. So yeah, I'm kind of expecting a really nice suit. Okay, so speaking of suits, the chin strap is back for the Flash suit. Suit reveal should come soon. This was announced by Grant Gustin. So yeah, this is definitely true. So look forward to this chin strap actually coming back. So maybe a poster will be revealed and that reveal should reveal the new looking suit. I'm not sure if the suit is actually going to stay necessarily exactly the same. I think there'll be some tinkering, but definitely the chin strap. Okay, so the next bit, there are talks for Jessica Parker Kennedy to return at some point this season, but nothing of note from early season planning. Season six showrunner Eric Wallace doesn't seem to be too interested in bringing her back. Okay, so talking about this, the last showrunner, Todd Helbing, actually teased that there is a possible way that they had envisioned to bring her back. And so I think this is very possible and I do kind of believe this leak because her whole plan was to stop Barry going missing in Crisis and she failed. And so I would believe that she would return to try and finish that whatever version of herself that is. So I'm kind of expecting that. I don't have my hopes super high yet though. Okay, so Iris has developed her newspaper a lot between seasons. Was decided it was better to skip over that development as it was seen as difficult to fit in consistently. See, the thing is with this, I don't really believe that. I don't think it would have been that hard to have Iris's development. So this is not really about the next season. This is about the past. So I don't know if I believe this because I feel like it's way too simple for them to be like, oh, that's too hard, you know, whatever. So I don't really believe this bit, but Tom Cavanaugh will have a lot of fun this season for multiple reasons. So obviously teasing multiple reasons, multiple versions of Harrison Wells. So yeah, Tom's definitely back as Harrison Wells, as it says in the script leak. So yeah, definitely returning in episode one. Eric Wallace, the new showrunner, has taken notes of the complaints of the past three seasons and is looking to reignite and refresh the show. Kevin Smith is in talks to direct an episode in the back half as he was disappointed to not take part in season five. And I think this is very true. I think that Eric being a new face and I feel like he's more open. I feel like he's going to be like a new voice for the flash a new sort of call back to the original way of how the show ran and that's just an instinct to me this is just a gut feeling there is obviously no confirmation of anything like that and i feel like with godspeed definitely being in the episode he has definitely listened to the fans and so he's bringing godspeed back in some way and i feel like red death is going to come so if there is a speedster if there is a mystery villain that red death and godspeed will be he's definitely listened to our complaints Okay, so now moving on to the next bit, so Kevin Smith is set to return apparently to direct an episode in the back half, that will make a lot of sense, Kevin's a massive fan and he didn't get his episode last season. Okay, so the tone will be similar to that of season 2 and 5, a dark villain but a lighter tone when it comes to Team Flash and the normal life scenes and storylines. This makes a lot of sense because season 5 way corrected what was season 4, the terrible tone all over the freaking place and season five got it right but obviously season two i feel like is the best example of the flash's tone i feel like it could have got a bit darker in season five but it got to a point where it was at a perfect point but yeah so more similar to season two and five so i reckon it will get a little bit darker especially if we have godspeed and red death so i believe a lot of these leaks I think it's only the Iris one that I'm sort of questioning. I think a lot of these leaks are actually quite logical and we've been expecting them. But some is obviously new, so looking forward to potentially seeing all of this. Obviously it's leaked, so you don't have to 100% trust this. But for now, get excited for next season, get excited for Crisis. Crisis is not filming this week. What they are doing is he's filming for The Flash because he's going to be a series regular, that being The Monitor. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to download the Amino app as I said earlier in the video. Please be sure to support me there. Follow me at the DCTV show and watch my stories day to day. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.